Good day, listeners and viewers and whoever the fuck you are. Welcome to, I guess I'm going to call it the Thick Table, if anybody here has a better name for it. I've already heard Odin's suggestions, but anyway, say hi. What's up? Hi. Hello. Hello there. Hello. We should probably introduce ourselves. <laughs> Alright, so I guess to start it off, we're going to do something called Pick 3 without context. So each of us, we're going to go through... The each of us and we're gonna list off just three things without any context and i'm gonna leave you the listener and or viewer to figure out exactly what the context is so cold stiff you are gonna go first oh i haven't had time to think about it pick me last <laughs> fine game demolisher you're first yeah i'm game demolisher um jesus help me that's my three words <laughs> Jesus, help, and me? Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Uh, Odin, you're next. Mountain Dew, Dogecoin, Borax. <laughs> borax? The Borax. He comes when he cut down the wood. <laughs> okay. Uh, Space Kitty, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to say 50 inch plasma screen, Google Stadia, and. Cheetos. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Mm hmm. All right. That demon god guy. Depression, debt, entertainment. Nice. Those all seem like a pretty good theme. I'm sure they feed into each other quite well. As all yeah. items on the list should. All right. Not so mine. <laughs> I mean, they'll figure something out. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Colsus, if you want to go last, I'll go next. Um, Japan, octopus, animation. Okay, Colsus. All right, sunshine, gelato, tea. Fuck yeah. I was honestly waiting for rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so now that's taken care of. We're gonna go into our first discussion or topic. That your favorite what is your favorite type of content to watch online, if applicable? So I guess it could be anything for like like a streaming service like Netflix or something. It could be anything on YouTube, it could be that kind of stuff, I guess. But I mean we can kind of just uh chime in whenever at this point. So Yeah, I'm just thinking. I watch mostly YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I watch a lot of YouTube yeah. too, personally. Uh, like, I've been watching, uh, I guess, mostly Let's Plays and stuff. Specifically, uh, like, Oni Plays or Game Grumps and stuff. Uh, likewise, those same two for me as well. It's <laughs> mostly what I watch on YouTube these days. I'm actually, I was actually pretty happy when to see that, like, uh, Oni Plays brought back uh, Dean Don and Julian. Yeah. For a while. That's, there's some fun, there's nice. Some they're funny boys. They work well together. I've been watching oh, yeah. just a ton of meme videos on YouTube and, <laughs> and uh, just like YouTube a meme compilations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just like meme compilations. You ever yeah, try just... doing you? Have you ever tried doing like you laugh you loses and try not to laugh? Uh, yeah, but I usually only make it for maybe like three of them. <laughs> and, and then I snicker and, and I lose yeah, the game just like you <laughs> lucky in a marcher we all have a very broken sense of humor it's not hard to laugh that's true <laughs> yeah Yeah. at this point yeah. we'll be breaking up combos and how many times we laugh as opposed to how many times we don't laugh <laughs> the broken amount of shit that we enjoy pretty much sums it up because we're all broken inside. <laughs> see, what I'd actually yeah. like is I want to see a uh, you laugh, you win, and then start scrolling through a Facebook feed. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Just trying to laugh at the corniest of jokes. And all the, like, the minion memes and shit. <laughs> oh my god. Good hell. The thing that finally gets you is that your mom says she has cancer over Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I guess my day's been made. Then she shows, then she, uh, shows a picture of you. 
<laughs> it, it just says this gave me cancer. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but sure, well, at least you got cancer. <laughs> you ruined me. You turned my knife into a cancer. <laughs> Did I cancer? Born under a long time. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've actually been also been watching a lot of cat videos. I don't know why I've gone back down that rabbit hole. Don't go down that's that rabbit I hole. I keep sending you cat videos. That's why. <laughs> well, now I'm watching them on YouTube. I, I just keep watching these videos of this guy that clearly lives in Japan because all his videos have like fucking English as their fucking titles, like really broken English. And they're just videos of like him walking up the street cats and petting them. <laughs> for I mean, whatever reason, not? I can't stop watching them. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, though, like, how do you know it's not China? Because this is a cat island in Japan, very clearly, with how many stray cats there are. Oh, it's yeah. the cat island. Oh, the feral island? Yeah, they're not really feral. These cats are, like, walking up to you and everything. Oh. They're polite cats. They just legitimately I'll... live completely on an island in Japan. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and as much as like as much as much anime as you watch, Odin, like you can, if you hear someone speaking Chinese as opposed to Japanese, you should be able to easily tell at this point. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I mean, I, I do consume quite a bit of anime, as do a few others of us as well. I try yeah, not to. Us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much most of us. I only consume <laughs> the finest wines of anime. And that includes Jojo. I've been, I've been trying to catch up on One Piece on Hulu and Good a luck. few other animes that are on there. Why would you do that? That is half your life gone. <laughs> but I, 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 I was shut in, up about I'm it dark. and I wanted to watch it. I didn't say shit I, about it. Hey, I, I support his decision. <laughs> I fucking did it. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually trying to catch up on the dub now, I too. I could do it, too, but I just choose not to. I I mostly just I mostly just go through the seasonal stuff, to be honest. Yeah, I watched some of the seasonal like, stuff too. Like winter, the the winter season was completely packed full of a lot of good stuff, a couple of great stuff, and to be honest, some stuff that just wasn't worth crap. And th this season is just really even more stacked. Like Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen was a fucking banger. It it was, and the, the soundtrack, especially the ending, uh, Lost in Paradise, just absolutely amazing. I think the most, um, I think what I liked the most about the ending was actually the animation sequence of it. Yeah, yeah. Go, so Gojo's got like the best dance moves of all of them. Gojo got like Gojo's has some fucking swag when he does that shit. <laughs> when you and your girl are watching Jujutsu Kaisen, she's not your girl. She's Gojo's girl. Pretty You're much. also Gojo's girl. <laughs> First, I mean, from what I know so far, he's like the most powerful fucking person in the show, too, for, to my knowledge. Well, yeah, he's actually... Uh, the author confirmed that he's the most powerful character in that universe. At least so far, oh, anyway. Wow, that cat is insanely trusting. I know. Uh, <laughs> The the fuck the fucking name in the video is when I stroked the calico cat in the fishing spot the cat stepped on the spot and was cute. <laughs> Thumbs it up, yeah. And it was good. <laughs> yeah. uh, it really is. It, it really is a adorable cat. That's all these guys' videos are just petting <laughs> random cats. Yeah, just, like just walking cats. up to random cats and petting them. It's like that Instagram channel that's like really big in the West right now. It's like I pet that cat and I pet that dog. And this these <laughs> kids go around the freaking like country petting people's pets and then like posting their fucking bio on their Instagram. <laughs> 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 oh, the the bio of the pets. It's a bio of that pet and it's not their pets. It's like someone else's pet. Oh so man! Like, did like, so did he like ask for a bio from the owner? Or did he just make up oh, a yeah. bio? So they asked the cat, you idiot. <laughs> Oh. Dude, we should make a people should make a rating system and then like people rate their pets depending on how nice it was to pet them. Yes. <laughs> be like, I pet my neighbor's cat today. It was about a four out of ten. It's. Imagine like me. people like swarm to the neighbor's house to pet the cat. 
Yeah. <laughs> critics. We're gonna have petting critics. I mean, tell me you <laughs> wouldn't let someone in your house if they told you they want to pet your cat. This guy <laughs> did a fur enough. His fur is a little bit stiff. Five yeah. out of ten. <laughs> That's like the first thing you hear when someone's like ready to steal shit from your apartment or something. It's like, hey, can I pet your cat? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> when I got on my knees to smother the face with my own face, the whiskers tickled me a little bit too much, and then I also poked my eyeball. Two out of ten. <laughs> this cat was a bit big and orange striped. I think it was a tiger. tiger. One out of ten. <laughs> his name, but uh, his, I, ed, rating edit. Just found out his name is Garfield. Ten out of ten. <laughs> 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 that I wasn't going to give him an 8 out of 10, but after learning his name was Fluffball, I gave him a 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, this the cat, <laughs> the cat's name was Fluffball, but he was as thin as a fucking stick. 0 out of 10. Skinny boy. Oh. This cat's name implied it was obese. It was not obese. I am, uh, I am sad. <laughs> My disappointment is measurable, and my day is ruined. Yeah, that's where I wanted to go next. With that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but otherwise, from oh, anime, God. like, oh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Other go than ahead. other than anime, I've just been watching a lot of my DVDs over again. Yes, I said DVDs. Nothing wrong with a good DVD. Okay, boomer. Hey, <laughs> shut up! I'm older than you. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, boomers, boomers probably, at this point, boomers probably stick with VHS tapes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know we still have some stored in the basement of my parents' house. I, I, wasn't the music I, on I know there's some. Whatever. Okay. I say my dad still actually has like cassette tapes in the basement that he had back in his time in the military. Jeez. Funny, funny thing, actually, uh, I think some I, of them still work too, which is amazing. <laughs> I think a while, a while back, I got some VHS tapes from my uh, grandparents, and one of them was actually of uh, Neon Genesis uh, Evangelion, like the first part of it. Wow. I'm not, I'm surprised they even had anime, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> they probably didn't know what it was. The VHS, <laughs> the VHS tape didn't work for dick, so I wasn't even able to watch it. <laughs> what? I mean, Why do I feel is like this that's Disney? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like that's some kind of like dirty thing? Like they pulled it out of this dark, creepy, dusty corner, like a porn collection, and they were like, "Here, let's give it to Travis. Let's give it to Turtle." <laughs> Imagine they like, recorded it over a different movie. Like I pull out, it's fucking okay. It's a Sandlot. Cool. I watch it. Then some fucking hardcore porn shows up. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, like back in the days of uh, when you would. Uh, that's not how you hit a home run. <laughs> Download movies off like LimeWire, and you just didn't know what you were getting. <laughs> oh, you're always playing the game. Oh. What is it going to be? Porn? Is it going to be? Movie? Is it going to be more it's hardcore loop, horse porn? Boxes. Oh, it is. Damn it's it! It's the loot box. Or, or when you oh, found the, the one sketchy channel that only came in when you held the antenna a certain way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So you had to find a way to jimmy rig the antenna so you can actually watch it. But what's yeah. that? It was only on, like, and it was only like three incredible. in the morning. Too. You'd have to like hire someone to do like a JoJo pose on top of the TV holding the antenna. <laughs> uh, All right, that's that great. Mean? Don't 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 move from that position. It's coming in, kind of still sort of watchable. But my body <laughs> doesn't bend that way, and it shows that fucking uh, Poner uh, fucking pose where he's like at a strange angle from the ground. Yeah, he's perp. He's like fucking like, almost perpendicular to the ground. Fucking is almost parallel to the fucking ground. Yeah. <laughs> feet, like, bent weird. Just like, physically there, impossibly fine. bent. Yeah, that's my favorite <laughs> fucking scene. <laughs> oh, speaking of, speaking of JoJo, I, God, I cannot wait for Stone Ocean. Is it, how, how soon? I have no, I don't know. I just know that it's been announced. Ah, uh, well, of course it's, it's been it announced. Was, it's a, yeah, it was confirmed, and they also confirmed the uh, voice actress for... Uh, for Jolene, so who is I, I it? Like the, I uh, don't I remember her name, but I do remember he, when I heard it. Though I did, I did like what I hear heard. So yeah, I'm gonna look this up because I need to know what they're gonna sound like. When you do, put the link in the uh, Discord chat and the podcast chat too. God, it's got a fucking if we, if we, I'm not gonna link the video. <laughs> what I'm gonna, what I'm mean, gonna try to do is that if we. Stuff. 
if we like reference a video and stuff, I'm gonna try to actually include it playing in the uh, YouTube video version of this. Okay. So that we so that, so we have like a visual aid for context. Okay, I'm see if I can find it now. Oh. So what do we got next on the list of topics? I mean, um, we're, we're just going through whatever the fuck we want to talk about, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much. I mean, yeah, the point is that for them to be starting places, points, and anyway, so... I say, can, I'm just trying to keep pregnant. things kind of rolling to minimize the number of uh, awkward silences. So, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce their fucking name. I, I don't know either, dude. I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna, gonna try. <laughs> that should work. Duck, duck, go. <laughs> go? Yeah, what... <laughs> AI <laughs> Ferroys, Ferroys. It's just a search engine. Oh, Era, I'll, AI. I'll, I'll a fucking like YouTube video of the actual voice actress. I, I'm not sure. I couldn't find one. Of age, like what? Maybe they. I don't know. Maybe they banned <laughs> it. it. May not be. I don't know. <laughs> they not. do look pretty young, but they are cosplaying. <laughs> uh, I don't know who this person is. What are they? Apparently, they've done a bunch of shit though. Let's see. Is this it? No, that's not it. What the fuck? I mean, I, I found their that. Wikipedia. Do you want me to send that? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> They've done some video games. Hmm. For JoJo? No. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh. Cerberus AI. AI. Oh, this voice actor. Okay. Kate Granger. Oh, man, I don't know any of these games. And I don't know any of these series that she's been in. How heavy are the Dumbo? Oh, I've heard of that one, but never seen it. Actually, I've actually yeah, I've really recognized a lot of these on my list here. Uh, yeah, I've seen I've seen Cautious Hero. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh she yeah, the Cautious Hero. From How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Which was amazing. Which was a pretty hilarious series, by the way. Oh, apparently, it's really... I watched Cautious Hero in the English dub, so I don't know how she was in that show. <laughs> I love how heavy are the dumbbells you lift. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, the opening the opening thing for that is actually quite hilarious because it's uh, she actually sang it. Uh, I say she actually sang the opening thing. So and just I love I love how people from like Asia name things. It's so great. <laughs> yeah. She was in Asia. Skeleton Knight in another world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Boner Bob in another world. Monster <laughs> Girl Doctor. Just straight to the point. You know what you're getting. Yeah, happy go lucky it. days. I wonder what it's about. Probably happy go lucky days. How to marry a millionaire. <laughs> Imagine if they did an anime where it's like a documentary on Truck Coon. And he is traumatized by all the characters he sent to he fucking isekai. Just the way they name it. It's still oh, that was the live action she did. Oh. <laughs> The, let's see. It, it can be called like a truck coon. The let's see. The trauma of the isekai protagonist creator or something. And just so oh. you know, they're 27. They are not underage. They just look very young. Who, who are we talking about? I don't know who you guys are talking about. Uh, we're talking about the actress, the uh, the voice actress. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I end, yeah. I end up going off a different tangent. <laughs> yeah, I got lost. We all go off on a different tangent, my guy. We're just fucking clustered. <laughs> they say, uh, I also found out that she voices the uh, USS Intrepid in Azure Lane. So. Oh. Yeah, yeah I just saw that yeah, in, the in, in the game. Because the oh, Intrepid no was never actually introduced in the show. I think I only played the game like for like minutes and then stopped. The show was good. I mean, it was. Uh, if you like fan service, what, probably. They yeah, say, yeah, plenty of fan service. And, and who doesn't like ship girls? Come on now. Eh. I don't know, man. You, yeah, you watch any? Point, I've I have some limits, and I tell I mean, you, watching what, a show girls is probably like... there. Uh, you know, I didn't so I much really like answers. all the battle scenes. I just liked watching the interaction, like when they're when they weren't on the battlefield, because I it did. was always hilarious. And I, you know, I really liked the more down to earth aspect of that. So, you like yeah. the more like fuss of life stuff, then? Yeah, I guess. yeah. Like I, I like the fact how uh, Enterprise had severe PTSD and Belfast was the only one capable of actually talking to her about it. 
listeners, I hope you're following this. Not. <laughs> <laughs> this might be slightly off topic, but I, after I mentioned like just like some crazy titles or whatever, like how they name things, I, I was oh, curious I and I just I Google searched like what are some of the craziest titles and things, and I'm like, oh my god, these are so bad. What are these? Are you thinking of, are you thinking of like white novel titles and stuff? No, like anime. Just well, most anime, anime, most anime are based off of light novels and yeah. Um, yeah, so usually, usually like the light novel, the novel inspires a manga adaptation, <laughs> which then inspires an anime adaptation. Right. Although sure. sometimes it can go straight from light novel to to anime, and sometimes maybe even just original animation. Like, wasn't that? A, I guess technically this one was movies. made in the U.S., but wasn't Castlevania an original animation? Oh, that's I mean, right. I mean, you know, Bobo, I, I forgot about that. Oh, Bobo? 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 Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. No, she knows I'm once upon a time. Bobo, 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 Bobo. Yeah, Bobo, 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 Bobo. The nose bird whisperer. Yeah. That, that shit was fucking weird. I I don't even remember so almost weird, I remember almost nothing except that there was a character that was like a fucking Sanj. Yeah, literally. Watching. I remember guy had a fucking huge afro, long nose hairs, fought people, and had a friend that was a son. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember too. That's pretty much it. And yep. I don't know how many bows are in the name too. And I'm like, you know what? I, I'm checking out at this point. I'm done. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's around done. 10. I could put up with some weird shit, but at least has to look cool. And this just doesn't Nah. <laughs> when you try to save the name of the show, it feels like you're actually building a combo counter. <laughs> oh god, somebody's I would to hate to be those fucking people. voice actors constantly have to say that name over and over and over again. How many times yeah. they had to yeah, fucking was, flub it. It was an actual name of the show too, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Every time they would flub it, blah, 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 fuck. You know, <laughs> how many times in the fucking voice booth they were. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. I can't believe I forgot about that because I actually tried watching that a long time ago. It almost scared oh, me away from anime. <laughs> Bobo cured me of anime. <laughs> no stairs, man. No stairs. Uh, Bobo cured me of my anime. Oh, Jesus. Keep what a sad existence that would have been had it succeeded. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Um. Like, have you have you like tried just making up uh, like an anime name or white novel name and trying to see if you uh, if it even exists? No, because no, I'm gonna regret what I know. find. <laughs> I'm gonna say, holy <laughs> like, crap! You might accidentally pull up. Oh my god! You might end up fighting a ass Dojin with some odd kinks and shit. Yeah, I'm good. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> oh god. All right, so I, I did think I, I was talking to a coworker uh, a few weeks ago, and we got on the subject of like really weird titles, and uh, one that I thought of uh, was uh, I inherited the hero's powers, but there were no more villains left to beat. I think you told me about that a few times, actually. <laughs> Remember you mentioned that before. It reminds me of like the that one that you just mentioned or whatever, like. The overly cautious hero or whatever yeah yeah cautious hero the the hero is overpowered but overly cautious yeah because the, the entire title had to be that <laughs> well yeah like that's just exactly what it was i mean it's just oh yeah i know it's just so fucking silly that, that's the thing when you get like these really long titles like the entire plot line is literally in the title I, I mean, to... hey, you at least know what you're wanting. You at least know yeah. what you're getting into pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah, you, like you get what you see. I mean, if you if you look at uh, uh what, what's one that I watched a few months ago? Is it wrong to put your wheels in the dungeon? I bet you watched that one. I have not. Uh, my coworker no? really likes that one, though. Uh, I, I have I not watched that one. I just what is it? 
uh, how uh, is it wrong to pick try to pick up girls in a dungeon? It's got like four I like seasons. That one. I like that one. Actually, it has three I'm seasons. Only, I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty good, actually. Yeah, it got confirmed for a fourth too. season. That's I right. liked it. It was pretty good. I thought it was good. Yeah. I'd recommend watching it. It's, it's really yeah, actually, it's really a good story. Yeah, I've watched that. I'd too. I mean, it's just it's one of the many anime that has a completely useless goddess. Yeah, but I actually like that goddess though. She's a lot more uh... tolerable. Yeah, I, I like her better as a character than I do like fucking Dude. Aqua from Konosuba. The Aqua's yeah, pretty funny in Rock. They have but... that tendency to be that fairy from what is that Breath of the Wild or whatever it is? Or not Breath like of the Na Wild. Um, yeah, Nani or whatever. Navi from oh Navi. From, oh, Navi. Navi, yeah. They sometimes those <laughs> goddesses have like that feel. <laughs> But yeah, um, I was, I mean, I think I thought of an, a funny like idea. So like, imagine if it was like an isekai, but it's not an isekai. Like the protagonist gets killed by Truck Coon, but he gets reincarnated into the same world, and his main purpose is to get revenge on Truck Coon. Just <laughs> so all fucking stab a truck. truck? <laughs> like, 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 does he like, just like inherit like, severe PTSD around trucks? Like, no, no, like he just, no, he just hates that one specific truck. Just that one in particular. So, yeah, so he tries to hunt a truck, and go back to you at the scene of the death, figure out what kind of truck was there, and then try to figure out its license plate and shit, and do some investigations, figure out the driver. But yeah, guess, to, to make it more compelling, though, he has to be reincarnated on the opposite side of the world. So, like, the first, like, two, three episodes of it, you know, would be, you know, like him essentially saving up enough money to go back to where they were killed. <laughs> he didn't even uh, save so, money. So, like so, like, let's say he was originally from like Tokyo, Japan, but then he dies, he gets reincarnated in fucking Florida. Yeah, exactly. Like, doesn't he, even know how to speak English either. That'd be the, <laughs> that'd be the really <laughs> funny part. Uh, no, he, he's full on reincarnated, so he grows up in an English speaking household and learns English. <laughs> Just like as a baby, he's like talking to his therapist, like, yeah, I just really want to go to Japan and kill this truck. I, don't I just know. really fucking hate this truck. <laughs> Why this truck in particular? Fuck, I don't know. No, I still got feeling. He went playing Hot Wheels and stuff, and he destroys all the truck toys he has. And he shows like a strong bias against trucks in every single thing he does. So like, he like plays with the photo, for example, and he only crashes into trucks he would get into like trucks and just run, drive them off bridges and jump out oh, shit <laughs> epic anime death scenes for a truck you know <laughs> here's one thing I don't understand why wouldn't you just like try to respawn until you're back in Tokyo <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I, don't would, I don't think that would be a plot point in this particular case <laughs> I don't say it was something like ReZero but <laughs> No, no, actually, better yet, he can only die if he's hit by a truck. Oh, no. <laughs> Anything else, he just gets back up after a few minutes. You know, Jesus. that'd be so fucky. I think that kind of story would work if he was suicidal. He tries to find... He lived, he lived for too long, so... Say, for example, he was born in, like, the 1800s or some shit. Or maybe he was alive when Jesus was. He's been alive this entire time, but he, and he tried so many ways to die, but he just couldn't figure it out. Then I don't know, I don't know how he would figure it out, but basically he would end up dying, and the only way he can die is from a truck. But how would he figure it out? Who would know? Well, he won't. That's the thing. That's the whole point. The entire thing would be centered on him repeatedly trying to kill himself, but it not working. Actually, that would be the plot twist at the end of the series, like, and, the, and make the, the no make the kicker. He finally decides to give up on trying to kill himself, right. only right. to get well, hit by a truck. Yeah, <laughs> he gets isekai. Surprise! Getting isekai. Walk away from the camera, like maybe there is something better in my life, and just gets run over by a truck, and that's it. <laughs> the end of the show. And then he talks the to God. Like, so, you know, it just it just back. skips to his funeral in, in, in the grave. <laughs> and then it shows him just in heaven, just having a casual conversation with God. And then he just says something like, "Man, I can't believe I can only die by getting hit by a truck." And God's like, "Well, you know, life is funny sometimes." <laughs> I don't know, dude. 
No, no, God. The the twist there would be guys be like, oh, you don't die from trucks. <laughs> like, no, you don't. Do I <laughs> actually, That's better yet, uh, he's actually he he's rock. No, no, actually, he's like at the he's at the pearly gates, and uh, he finally t uh, he tells uh, who is like uh, Jesus. No, no who, not, not who? Just like was it, like Saint Peter. I don't I, know. It might have been Saint Peter. It, yeah, I think it's that man. Whoever apostles at the gate, I guess. And so yeah, and he's like, oh, Duke, uh, Duke. we actually have your new assignment. <laughs> he just hands over the sign of his Wouldn't next life. Funny if it's just a picture of a priest. No, imagine, it, imagine, <laughs> no, imagine, no, imagine this. So, uh, so the protagonist would go up to the the proe gates and shit, and they're on a big cloud. But behind him, behind the protagonist, is like at the edge of the cloud, so he could fall off. Imagine if like Saint Peter's had just told him, you know, oh, actually, no, you're not supposed to be dead. Sorry. He fucking kicks him off the edge and jumps up, jumps up, does like a fucking meteor smash and knocks him straight down to back to Earth. It just sends him right back to Earth. The camera, oh, the camera pans up back to heaven and you see God in a trucker hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, pay a little bit, buddy. He's got, a, he's got a fucking uh, piece of straw hanging out of his, uh, sticking out of his mouth. He's wearing overalls and plaid shirt. He's got a corn cob pipe. <laughs> He's got a truck. He's got a fucking uh, handlebar mustache. Uh, yeah, like the truck he's driving is one of those big fuckers with the two exhausts on, on the top or whatever. Oh, yeah, like, eighteen wheeler big rig. Is a sticker that like, says "Rolling Coal"? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like five seasons in, you see Satan roll up in a freaking Prius. No, like, like, uh, God, like, if God was a trucker, like, he, his, uh, big rig would be, like, giant, like, a golden dime, gold, uh, diamond-plated, uh, semi-truck, and it's got, <laughs> it's got, like, text on the side of his, uh, trailer saying, Eyes of Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and, and uh, Satan he, would he roll in. Truck and said, hello, good, hello, good buddy, Temple, here's Jesus, and Jesus comes out with a fucking bullet and, uh, wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is great. Yeah, and, and instead of a Prius, Satan just rolls up in a Tesla. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, what that stupid the Ford Fiesta? He rolls up in a Fiesta. There you go. <laughs> they don't. They don't make those yeah. anymore. They don't oh, yeah. make those yeah, anymore. No, <laughs> well, no, they didn't make enough money from them, so they stopped. Because they're garbage. Imagine if, like, Satan just rode up in one of those fucking tricycles to see, like, on a preschool or bike. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, just saw. He's just got a saw. fucking, like, bicycle horn on it. <laughs> Looks at the main character after he gets hit with a, like, after he's tried to kill himself a few times, like, you want to play a game? <laughs> uh, was it, what was that movie? Was it fucking? Was it one of the scary movies? Is there, was no, like that was Saw. Where, oh man! Where it showed the it showed the fucking jigsaw riding on a tricycle or whatever. What? Oh, the fucking jigsaw doll riding on the stupid tricycle. Yeah, was it from like Epic Movie or something, or was it? Uh, I, I don't, don't think remember. it was. Remember. I think it was a movie. Or was it a disaster movie? I don't know. Oh, there's too many of those movie. movies. Yeah, there's so many. I'm glad they stopped making them. Yeah, some of them are pretty stupid. Well, the way in can only make so much money from it. Yeah, the original scary movie was, was pretty good. The scary movie was pretty good. Um, oh, while we're on the topic, kind of, of like parody movies, right. uh, interesting tidbit, Young Frankenstein was actually shot on the original Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein set. Oh, nice. Huh. So, like, the, the original set, in fact, they even, like, went to the studio that had that, and, like, they, like, evidently, like, asked them, was like, hey, you know, we're, we're shooting this parody. Can we use some of your set pieces? Because, like, the budget for the entire parody film was, like, Seventeen thousand dollars or something like that. Jeez, not an extreme amount. 
No, like have... even even back then, it was like basically like half a dozen studios like literally laughed them out of the meeting because of what their budget was. Didn't yeah. them pregnant have to get like cut as well in terms of like I I heard that their ending wasn't really the ending they wanted because they had to cut the film short because they ran out of budget. Is that? I can't remember if it was that movie. It's it feels like it might have been. Uh, yeah. Would it be surprised if knowing that movie? Yeah, 19, yeah, say it was 1974. Um, was Young Prince Frankenstein like a sequel to the original or something? No, or it was a parody. No, no, it's a complete parody oh, movie. Oh, straight up parody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we were know, talking about parody. Movie. What? You know the guy who played Willy Wonka in the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? G he yeah, played Gene Wilder. Wilder yeah, Gene Wilder. In fact, actually, yeah, another thing, and I, I actually learned all this by uh, watching uh, Takahata 101 on, on Twitch because he was like talking about that because he watched like a bunch of movies when he was on uh, hiatus for, for a few weeks. Yeah. And like he was talking about that because it's just like a lot of the old comedy movies. Whose Facebook like, notifications are going off? That's mine. My sister keeps messaging me because she's dealing with some crap right now. I uh, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, like they had, uh, there was, I can't remember who it was, but one person like legitimately asked to be in the movie as like an extra because of how funny he thought it was <laughs> and nice. uh, one uh, one person like stabbed his leg and didn't break character he was, he was supposed to hit like a piece of metal uh, that he had underneath his costume but he missed and he like legit stabbed his leg and apparently like he didn't break character and like they just like kept it in the film. Oh jeez. Hey, I mean, you got the determination. If you don't break character, there's no reason to cut it. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got yeah. the shot. Yeah, you just got like both it, steel. It's the same yeah. thing with Leonardo DiCaprio in Django Unchained. When he uh, when he slammed his hand down, he cut the hell out of his hand. That actually happened on set, and they they kept yeah. it because he didn't break character. Oh yeah. What was yeah. that? Was when he Lord smeared his Rings? Kerry Washington's face. Yeah, that's the famous Lord of the Rings one, too, yep. where he uh, kicks the helmet. Kicks breaks the his helmet. toe. Yep. He kicked the helmet, <laughs> broke his toe, and the scream was a real scream of pain, but they kept it in the movie. Yeah. I mean, it worked really well in the movie, so yeah. Yeah, it, it fits perfectly <laughs> with the scene. Like, the scream of yeah, pain yeah. fits just it perfect. perfectly with the scene. I, that's something, actually, I've been like reading up and listening to a lot more it like scenes that happened just completely out of the blue and worked or like they were improved and like they they kept it in and it worked like not even funny improv some of it was really serious improv that's something oh, that's yeah, been kept yeah, in it, my eye a lot uh yeah because uh, with a lot of those older shows like the, some of the comedy just did not age very well at all no hmm. like there there's a lot of things that are, are not exactly uh, culturally appropriate nowadays. You know what yeah, comedy was, was aged very well? It was, uh, it was actually something it was something I actually watched in, in school. I don't know if I don't remember if it was like high school or if it was college, but it was Abbott and Costello who's on first. Hmm. Have, I don't think I've guys... seen that. that. That's like a comedy staple. Pretty Who's on much. first? It, it, what's on second? I don't second, know. I don't know. Who's on third? Yep. Yep. That's a whole. God, even I know that. It's, that's a whole <laughs> bit. Like it, it's a, it's a comedy staple. And it, it's like the very first <laughs> knock knock joke that was told. I miss the Three Stooges and uh, oh God, Pet Detective uh, guy. And, Ace Ventura. Uh, like slapstick. What's his face? The guy who. who Jim Carrey. Oh Jim yeah. Carrey. yeah. He hasn't played a... many movies recently, has he? No, <laughs> he was actually a not for fun in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Oh, he it's right, the Sonic and the Hedgehog movie. Forgot. 
I haven't seen it yet. I actually thought about watching it. I've seen it. I've seen it. It's pretty good. I mean, they redid I the uh, Sonic at least. Oh they did. The original. Oh my god. The original yeah. Sonic. Like, Jesus. No, I did not, not redo Skinny Eggman. I want my obese, fat <laughs> Eggman. They should have put a Jim Carrey on that like an egg. Eggman well, doesn't look like it. What is I he? Mean, He's just a man. Towards the I end, mean, though, they make him look more like him. It could have been like a, a way to differ differentiate it from the main Sonic canon. Is there even a Sonic the Hedgehog canon? No, there isn't. No, they created their own Sonic canon. It's just fuckable. That's the end of it. They use I just a, want to say, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the, mo the live action movie was its own canon, technically, separate from all the yes. games and stuff. Like yes, Sonic Boom. Is. Oh fuck, Sonic Boom! Like, like something. Oh my funny God. thing about Sonic, the funny thing about Sonic Boom is that I've seen like clips and stuff, and like the show on it, and I, I think I've tried watching a couple episodes at one point. I actually think the show's good. It's just the game was just ass. I haven't played the game, but I've just seen like clips of it and let's plays of it and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, the game was not. Yeah. What sucks is that I really think that if the Sonic Boom game had like plenty of time put into it and had more effort like and not it wasn't like rushed and shit I feel like it could have potentially been a decent or good game but I mean it's hard yeah. to say at this point though it came out what fucking I don't know how many years ago actually yeah cool. what was the last Sonic game that came out was that Sonic Boom I think it was Sonic Forces oh uh, yeah or I don't, I don't know or was it Generations? I think it was Sonic Generations. No, Generations was on the 360 at least. And Sonic Force, it was either Forces or Mania. It was one of those two. I don't know, I stopped keeping track. I know Force, Forces is the most recent 3D one I can remember at the top of my head. That, Forces was one of those games that I did. I did play Forces. I rented it on the PS4 and it's not great. I, I mean, I mean, the story is kind of, eh, it's whatever. But, I mean, gameplay-wise, it was okay. I mean, I had fun with it, but I don't think it was great. Yeah. I gotta know, who owns Sonic? Sonic, Sonic huh? Team? Oh, no, really, I never would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's literally, I think that's literally what it is. is Sonic Team owns Sonic, or maybe it's Sony that owns Sonic. It was, it was, it was, no, it was Sony. I think, or it was Sega and... Sega, that's it. It is Sega. Is the Sonic team under? I mean, is there a Sonic team under Sega or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is a Japanese video game series franchised by Sega. Cool. Sonic is Japanese. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Who else would have thought about Sega as a Japanese company? That's not an American thought. <laughs> I mean, I guess not. I mean, Americans have furries too, so it's like you know. Yeah. I mean, like <laughs> we have Robin Hood. And that's yeah, that's we got Disney movies <laughs> and Zootopia. Yeah, we have uh, sex and rabbits. Zootopia, yeah. Robin Hood. <laughs> we have Zootopia and the Emoji Movie. All right, what else? <laughs> <I mean>, we, <laughs> we have disappointment and more disappointment. Yeah. The Emoji yeah. Movie <laughs> is a fucking abomination, dude. <laughs> I will. That's what do we just tell you do, fellow kids? I'm a funny zoomer too. <laughs> <laughs> that essentially sums up that movie, yes. <laughs> funny face, this make good concept. Hey, uh, let's make uh You know those things emoji movie, but basically turn it into inside out. No one will know. No one will know. <laughs> those things the internet's been using for years, but only recently suddenly got popular? Let's make a movie about them. Let's yeah. make a movie about a language. Let's, hey, now, let's not confuse emojis with emoti emoticons here. <laughs> I guess. That's the second movie, the difference between emojis and emoticons. Actually, oh, this, don't this, do it. There's going to be a war did, now. I hate Race, war, war, or the invasion of the GIFs. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> ASCII art makes a comeback. Yeah. Fuck you. I mean, technically, I think it might actually be the official pronunciation of it being GIF, but fuck you for calling it GIF anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> Honestly, I hate that it's, that people refer to it as GIF. It stands I for graphical too. user interface. 
I know. Whatever graphical is pronounced Jeff. You know what I hate? I will accept really it. give a fuck. <laughs> Honestly, it is kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what I'm yeah, going to do is I'm going to make a file format that is GIF, J-I-F, and I'm going to re really piss when people try to refer to GIF as GIF. <laughs> see, that's understandable. <laughs> that would be hilarious. hilarious. That would be funny, though. <laughs> what, is it GIF peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it GIF Dunham? GIF Dunham. Oh, it's the uh, Buddha. <laughs> is, is it Jesus Christ? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Holy shit, dude. That's awful. <laughs> yeah, that's all cancerous, yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what we do. We, we do are cancer. The we're the cancer factory after all. You want the cancer to bus? Right, Odin? <laughs> you are goddamn right. Damn right. We have The amount of cancer in this town is too damn low. <laughs> is it super conspiracy right. if people, if everyone knows the conspiracy? Oh well. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> What? Right, let's try the uh Let's go for what is a conspiracy that everyone knows? Just kind Wait, of what? Uh, what is a conspiracy that everyone knows? You want to? There's a new one. Me one. I don't know if I should say. COVID was a biological <laughs> weapon. No, you know what? Uh, actually, that's uh, that's a funny one. The COVID is like five G or some shit. <laughs> oh yeah, five oh, yeah, G causes what, cancer. What was that? Like five yeah. G? Flat Earth. You want some five G? Flat Earth. Earth. <laughs> Uh, first uh, yes, Karen. The five G is the paper cancer, on a not table. Hey, see, the Earth is flat. <laughs> not the giant fucking sun in the sky that emits radiation. No, that doesn't do it. No, because so, satellite pictures, pictures from space are not enough proof. You know. Yeah. 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 It was photoshopped. <laughs> Even back in the nineties, it was photoshopped. <laughs> Paid uh, actors. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, speaking of Photoshop. You the moon landing was staged. It's a lie. Image, it's a, image modification has been around for you know a lot longer than you oh, know, duh. what I mean, a lot of people think. I mean, if it wasn't, I don't think we would have gotten Star Wars in the seventies, or you know. Yeah. Who are you talking about? The seventies? I'm talking like the eighteen hundreds. I was just speaking as an example. Well, actually, but... they've been using. Uh, actually, uh, I think it's called touch and burn is actually one of the oldest forms of image modification. It was actually used quite extensively by uh, landscape photographers. Do you think huh. uh, Do you think they tried uh, the touch and burn technique back in the 1800s to make it look like it, someone's got like a giant dick in their mouth? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't... <laughs> Dude, you know there's a cave painting where somebody drew a really nice cave painting and someone just fucking took their thumb and gave it a big dick. <laughs> painting good. You know, working where I work and like imagining the stalls in the bathrooms <laughs> as cave walls. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you you had to. Did Did you, you imagine these cavemen the were Picasso taking too? shits when they carved on the walls? Oh god, I know they were because they used to write on. <laughs> they're probably taking the shit in their like fire that they have in the middle of the cave or something. Yeah. Yeah. They burn the really marking. I never even thought of like looking at like uh, <laughs> like drawings in bathrooms as cave drawings. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> do you think? <laughs> do you think? Uh, Ah oh, fuck! Do you think, in like cave, like in the caves, like back in the Stone Age and shit, like cavemen put on the walls, like for a good time, come to cave two, four, five, or whatever. <laughs> I, I don't the think they had a concept of numbers. Come to second bush outside. Try yeah. any, try funny business. You bonk. Go oh, honey no. jail. <laughs> Come to uh, big tree. Like I give good that are equivalent of fart jokes. Knock knock. Who dare? 
<laughs> Maybe that's what they were doing when they were cable fighting. They were like taking a shit next to the wall. And they were bored. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if like, someone might walk to in while you were taking a shit next to the wall. Bunga, what you doing? Oh, Bunga, I'm drawing. <laughs> Me go poo poo. <laughs> Thor, make, make poo -poo. art. Me poo poo. Go, go. No watch. Go. <laughs> Look, I make giraffe with shit. <laughs> me make poo giraffe. They're, no, they're just playing charades while they're both shitting. <laughs> <laughs> or our Pictionary. What is? Do they like porn? try to do like a funny? Do they try to do like a funny pose and accidentally step on their own shit? <laughs> and they like slip and crack the skull open. <laughs> oh, who poop here? Oh wait, oh, that me. That I know eat corn. <laughs> did they even eat corn back in the Stone Age? So no, they everything. did not, Travis. They ate everything that was edible. So I got corn, a as did we know, it did not though. exist. Yeah, they had the corn. As we know, Dragon Ball considered a shit post. Yes, Shut the if fuck. it's shit, yes. <laughs> I mean, this entire podcast has a shit post. <laughs> that sums up this podcast, yes. Yeah, shit post. If it's written in shit, especially, it's definitely a shit post. Yeah, but what if you find shit on a post? It, I mean, does that mean does that like make it double shit post? Uh, I mean, does it just make it a shitty post? post? I'm not shitty enough. enough. <laughs> it's 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 a shit posting with extra steps. Sounds about right. Some advanced shit posting. Advanced shit posting. Yeah, there you go. It's meta shit posting. Hmm. Shit. I hate this conversation. I do too. Uh, but it, it yeah. is. You want to move on to the next topic then? Yeah. Okay. So, if you, holy shit, we hit fifty minutes and we we only did two topics technically. Go ahead. That's, that's fine. fine. That's, that's, that's fun good. That's good. I was, I, that, that no, was this is, that's point. a really good thing. That's a really good thing. Um. Anyway, so. Here it is. If you have an interest in content creation, who would you want to collab with the most? Who isn't in our current friend circle? Uh, Otherwise, if you're not doing content creation yourself, who do you want to see collab together? And in general, this is more towards like the YouTube Twitch space. I was about to say that I have to be alive. Or anything like, or anything like that, really. Um, what about late night TV? I mean, I guess you can count it. Does sure. that would that also count as content creation? Technically, yeah. yeah. Right, well, we can go with that, sure. Because I would actually love to see, like, pretty much like any prominent English VTuber interviewed on late night TV. Oh my god! I had a feeling you're gonna go that route. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't happened yet. I mean, for crying out loud, Jimmy Fallon played Among Us with like five of the bigger streamers on Twitch like a week and a half ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, Jack yeah. yeah Jimmy Fallon actually okay. unveiled and opened up his Twitch channel and he played a big, he played on the airship with like 15 different streamers. Nice. Actually, uh, speaking, speaking of which, actually, I don't even know how many of you actually watch Alpha Rad. But soon he's gonna be doing an Among Us stream with fucking with uh, Jack Black, I think, and some and some of his own. Like I say, that's the thing. It's like you know, with as big as VTubing has gotten in the last year and a half, I'm kind of surprised that you haven't seen any sort of interview on late night TV, because there have been a number of. It's hard to interview someone like, who's virtual. No, it's I mean, not. It's Anthony Padilla did it on YouTube two weeks ago. I mean, the thing is, they just basically fly them over. And that's the point. Well, right now, with the fact that most late night TV shows are still are doing Zoom calls anyway for their interviews, like there's literally guess, no man. difference. I mean, you can very easily. I mean, if you do it over like a Discord or a Zoom call, you can very, very easily have a VTuber come on. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anthony Padilla interviewed uh, Zentrea, Iron Mouse, and. Uh, Nanners. Uh, yeah, Nanners, like, two weeks ago on YouTube. I started watching that video, but I haven't actually 
gotten that far into it, but... In, in my opinion, Zen did not get enough screen time. It was basically just... He interviewed Nanners and Iron Mouse with the occasional snippet from Zen. Like, of the 20-some-odd minutes that it took up, Zen was only in maybe five of it. Hmm. It was actually rather unfortunate. Good to see you. They actually count the minutes of the screen time. <laughs> hey, I was just hoping he'd actually, you know, spend, like, an equivalent amount of time with all three of them. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, but... I would, too, honestly. That yeah. being said, though, Zen just doesn't bring in the, the sheer number of viewership that Nanners and Iron Mouse do. Because both of them, like, average five and a half to seven K viewers when they stream. And Zen maybe averages, like, one and a half K. Unless she gets rated I mean, by somebody. I mean, to be fair, though, I mean... I think there might be a reason behind that because where uh, Iron Mouse and Nanners are basically cute anime girls with cute anime Better girls fucking degenerates. behind them, then Treya is she's not big she's dragon not, dummy mommy. Yeah, she's not like the more typical so cute she, anime, she, she anime she's girl, definitely and she's got the uh, more into the into the monster she does, girl type. And she does oh, the, yeah, the uh, voice, and she does the uh, speech to text to speech thing too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which might have been another reason why they didn't give her so much screen time because they didn't have time to get that all set up. Well, I, I know more not... people were usually more interested in like hearing actual voices as opposed to you know. Right. Well, that yeah. and I mean it doesn't. They don't tell you how much they actually cut for the final take. Like, right. That's the other right. thing. I mean that 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 may have just been like the most usable stuff they had. Right. And yeah, pretty much that. But I just, you know, by comparison, no, I, I think they, they would have benefited more by making it like an even shorter video rather than having, you know, a, a large disparity in time allotment that Nanners and Iron Mouse got compared to Zentrea. So that's just my opinion on that. But yeah, I'm surprised like that you haven't seen a VTuber being interviewed by, you know, like like Trevor Noah, you know he, yeah. he's pretty. Like he's supposed to be kind of like you know the late no, night voice of millennials, there, like John Oliver or something. Fucking doing it on one of his weird shows. Uh, John Oliver does like last week tonight or something, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He would have a VTuber on there for some weird reason to make a point. <laughs> that seems like something I'm... he would do. I haven't, I haven't even watched a lot of John Oliver, but I have, I think I have checked out a couple of his stuff before, and that was pretty funny. He, he usually does much more comedy-driven stuff, right? For the most part, yeah. I'll have to check out some of his stuff more. But yeah, I, that's all I'm saying. Is like, you know, I'd, I'd like to see, you know, one of the the bigger English VTubers, you know, be be interviewed on late night TV. Yeah. I've, I've seen a, would, I've seen happen, a couple would... of different newscasts, like legitimate local newscasts, have segments on VTubing. Yeah, like it's, I it's think like really weird because they, you know, they recognized its, you know, its its rise in popularity. You know, yeah. just and especially in the last year and a half. Yeah, I think if that were to happen, though, it'd be a lot more of a possibly hollow live, seeing as they're one of the biggest VTuber groups out there well they they are it's basically there's uh i say like the two big ones that you know i obviously know you know there's v shoujo which is the american counterpart to hollow live and then hollow live which was kind of really the first big talent agency yeah and then there's the there was the uh, the chinese one yeah, that didn't go very well. like, uh, yeah are there I any didn't. members of uh, hollow i live think English? you what <laughs> what? Yeah, when yeah. when a Chinese VTuber says that they think the Chinese government goes, you what now? You what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. I mean, he's not oh, wrong. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> he's not. But it's still like fucking hell. But uh, speaking of of YouTube, <laughs> I did watch. What, wait, the, wait, you're afraid we're gonna get what banned in China? What? <laughs> <laughs> You think talk bad about China is something terrible? <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> sort of communist. I don't know. <laughs> right, just step away from political stuff if possible. That's all. Well, like I'm not communist. talking about American politics. I'm talking about Chinese politics. There's a difference. Yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought this was America. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is America. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, Hollow Live and V Shoujo actually did do a collab like two weeks ago when they played Among Us, and that was actually rather entertaining because the V Shoujo girls spoke very broken Japanese, <laughs> and really? the Hollow Live girls spoke very broken English. So it was a lot of fun trying to <laughs> decipher what was being said. They didn't even use Hollow Live EN, world. they used fucking Hollow Live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They 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 didn't do the Hollow Live En. They actually brought in you know some like they had uh, Kazuna I, which is kind of their their flagship girl right now. I your sure Kazuna I is, is Hollow Live. I'm pretty sure she might just be on her own. I I was gonna say I don't think she was Hollow Live. Just my knowledge. Yeah, I'm fairly certain Kazuna is actually completely She's on her own. It. Oh well, she she was there. She was the, basically the big draw. I don't matter. Yeah. She was one of the first, to my knowledge, that actually brought the whole V two within the light, wasn't she? The one of the firsts. She yeah. was definitely the first I've ever heard of. Before I even had an interest in V tubing really at all. I've yeah, she made such a kind of big noise. I. <laughs> It wouldn't be surprising if you didn't realize, oh, yeah, nope, she's a VTuber. Nope. Yeah, she's, she's currently part of the Kazuna AI Inc., a subsidiary of Active 8. Okay, then. Well, then. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of... I guess, technically, I'm doing content creation, so... I don't even know who... I mean, if I had to pick someone to collab with personally... Uh, fuck, I don't even know, dude. I mean, at this point, I want to say... I mean, only because I'm starting to get into the VTubing thing myself. I mean, I'm still very new to it, but... I would say, like, literally any other VTuber. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a big way. It could be, even be a fucking small one. I don't even care. Like, if I, I mean, if it's someone I find entertaining, at least, but... I don't know, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I just looked uh, up the... Uh, uh, the JP VTubers that they had were Kazuna I, Siro, Kade Higuchi, and Hanaru Inaba. <laughs> but I know Siro had to drop out because she got sick, and Silverbell <laughs> took her place. I wonder just how they ended up arranging that. Just with, uh... Uh, I imagine Gunrun approached them. Probably, because uh, like I said, aside from Kazuna, all the others were from Hollow Live, and because they're you know they're a pretty stringent talent agency, I imagine Gun Run had to approach them directly to to arrange that collaboration. Let's see, Let's see, um. I think a cool. Let's see. I'm trying to think of like someone who would be a cool guest on like Oni Place or something. I would do a collab with Oni Place. I, I mean, I fucking would too, dude. I mean, I would. <laughs> I, would I would want to do. He a seems like the other one who would not be like a dickhead about anything. Yeah, I mean, I would do a collab with a lot of people. I would. I'd be willing to do it with someone like Alpha. It could be Alpha Brad or Friends Without Benefits, Weezy the God. Even though those three are technically in their own kind of. They're all connected anyway, but see, I would I would do something with maybe uh, Ross O'Den O'Denovan or Rubber Ross, I guess. Um, Ross be pretty funny too. Yeah, the King Grim side totally would as well. I guess I don't know. There's a lot of people I totally would do it with. But There's a lot of people right you now, do, huh? Giggity. Not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh. I mean, we're not right now. Obviously, that's not a possibility, but 
I want to get to the point where I could. Not, I mean, that's kind so of like. So what you're uh, saying is you'd have to get really popular, huh? Yeah, very. So very unlikely. So, but <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that big of a dreamer to think. Oh, I totally can do it, or totally will do it. Dude, you need more confidence in yourself. Well, I'm saying is I'm not gonna worry about it. That's basically the thing I'm going for. I'm not gonna expect it. Is what I'm saying. I mean, obviously, I'll. I mean, obviously, I want to get to that point. Obviously, I am gonna try to get to that point. I mean, I'm putting more effort into doing content now, actually. Even like, for example, with this podcast, like I've been putting off doing this for a while, and we're finally doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. We're doing it. I do it. I do it. Transition into B two being within the next year. I've already. Well, I'm already fucking doing it now. Like. He's doing it. You're, guys. Kind, you're kind of doing, doing it. it. Doing he's it. kind of, he's kind of he's doing kind, it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm he trying. Needs, what he needs I'm to do is effort. just do it. Right, and I think part of it too is like I'm trying Don't to hold myself let your accountable. Don't dreams for doing be it. dreams. Yeah, exactly. Like she I'm trying to hold myself more accountable dreams. to That's doing it. shit too, because I've doing for it, man. the longest time I've been trying to set like I've tried to set up a schedule to do stuff. I try to okay. I keep telling myself, you know. I need to start doing this more, but I keep putting it off and but like why the fuck have I been putting it off? Because I'm fucking lazy or what? Like that's you know I'm like, oh I wanna watch all this anime, blah 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 blah. You might no, I'm gonna have a dedicated day for that kind of shit. Or try to. Yeah man, Can't fuck see? that anime. <laughs> Cause like them like if I spend more time like 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 I need to put more time towards actually uh working on like recording and editing stuff because there's time uh, i don't know it's time management time management that's what i'm working on that's, yeah, that's my I'm... that's my biggest thing because i mean unlike you 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 know i've got two houses to take care of plus i work full time and i've got four dogs well three dogs and basically two cats to, to take care of. All right. Sorry, you're saying three cats is the equivalent of one dog, or? No, I'm saying two cats are the equivalent of two cats. Hmm. Gotcha. And then I've got three dogs. I, I, I don't I, I don't consider the damn koala a dog. I'm sorry. It, it's That's closer to a rat than anything else. I can attest that one cat equals one small child of one month old. Oh please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you would be able to do as a father yourself. <laughs> as, as somebody who who owns basically two huskies, huskies shed that. like oh, hey, hey man, huskies shed like crazy once a year for 365 days. I thought you can say <laughs> as someone who owns a child, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> as a father of the oh, hey, my father, dogs I are my children. Damn one it. Proud child. <laughs> The difference between dogs and cats is cats kind of control where they shed, where dogs just shed like a long, fluffy trail behind them. Oh, oh, trust me, I know. I've I've vacuumed like four times this week, and it's not even making. The a three dent. of those were today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've vacuumed ten times in two days, and nine of those times were this morning. Uh. Uh, like, like I could legit make a pillow out of the hair. You could make like the, I just uh, need a I just need a pillowcase. Put all the hair, all the hair into it and just sew up the pillow, and it will just be a, a really soft pillow. You could do that meme where they like vacuum up the dog's fur when it looks like it's their dog. <laughs> Get enough fur to make a whole other dog. It would be cool if uh if a uh, fucking flex tape made a went well work. Went roller, like flex roller. <laughs> I don't it, think Bill Swift that much to, of a It'll be far superior to the little sticky. I mean, I've got I've got a shed master uh, at home. It's basically like it's just a, it's a brush specifically designed for dealing with dog shed. So nice. The shed I mean, with the dogs the that you have, you kind of need it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, like, I can just, like, pinch a claw. 
when I go to remove hair from my dog, I'm literally just grabbing his his fur and just literally ripping it off, just clumps of dead fur just just comes off. Like it comes off in clumps. Jeez. I think that's why I'm gonna stick with short hair dogs. Or if dogs I, that just don't funny. shed a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, are there any dogs that don't shed a lot? Those are dogs that have like hair that perpetually grows, and you have to take them to the groomers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like my dog, she doesn't shed a lot, so we need to take her to the groomers periodically. Dude, just if if you want a dog that doesn't shed a lot, don't get a dog. <laughs> I mean, if you want an animal that doesn't dog, shed, so get a reptile. <laughs> or or get a, <laughs> even get... shed works because they're <laughs> shedding their skin. <laughs> So well, I mean, most reptiles eat their skin, so it's a little bit better. When a cat eats their shed, they throw it up on the floor again. <laughs> so you, you can get a you can get a hairless cat. <laughs> It'll be the smoothest <laughs> pussy you'll ever get. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no thanks. <laughs> oh fuck. Andy, Another topic. Uh, the good thing, about, uh, one good thing I. That uh, dogs and cats have in common is that neither one, neither one of them live in my house, so. <laughs> yeah, you have a bird. I bird. Yeah, I do have a bird. Well, that comes with its own few drawbacks because, A, it gets pretty noisy. Especially, Especially when I'm right trying behind to find you. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have any other good places to put it right now, though. That's the thing. Fair enough. Yeah. And if I had to make a call for work, I, uh,. I had to shut it up somehow. So the best I can do is like put a blanket over it and say, "Hey, I'm gonna put the blanket over it now. Shut the fuck up." <laughs> Not that I would ever endorse this, but I could just like picture Travis panicking one day and like throwing his bird in the dryer. Oh <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> no, no, quiet you. Why the fuck? <laughs> why why, why the dryer? He's got a pretty good dishwasher. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What, do I, I pick like up the whole fucking cage and chuck it in the dryer, or what? No, you take the bird out and you throw them in. Why? <laughs> you can fluff his feathers. Yeah. I'm sure it's, I'm sure your dryer's got a delicates <laughs> mode. <laughs> it does have delicates. But... <laughs> <laughs> the you turn the dryer on and you hear squawking. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear muffled squawking. Hey, at least it's not as loud as it was when the fur was out, okay? Uh huh? <laughs> at least it's as loud as when the bird was out on your pole. <laughs> so we covered animal cruelty! Hey, I said I would not condone Great okay. listeners, disclaimer we don't condone any of this, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, we do not condone animal cruelty. We do not condone any of what we're talking about. We were talking about the collab and stuff that you'd like to see her do. I think that's my collab that I would like to do. I want to collab with Travis's bird. Oh, fuck. As long as Opal isn't in the fucking video, then... The last thing I want is to have your cat try to collab with my bird and then, you know, accident happens. I wonder how she would react to the bird, because, like, she just kind of avoids the baby. Instinct. <laughs> yeah, but cat, the baby cat, also won't fit in her mouth. instinctually go after <laughs> small things that move around. My, yeah. Uh, for, for instance, my cat, like, I don't really have to worry. Like, I know when there's a bug in the house, because the cat will go crazy and start yowling, and you can hear her from across the house. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And the bad damn. thing is, like, she, she, she doesn't even kill the damn things. She just, like, bats at them. She's just the alarm. She doesn't do the work like a good cat. Oh, well, yeah, no, 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 no shit. She's fucking massive. Yeah. And she's more of a whale than a cat. <laughs> like, cats are supposed to be land sharks, but she, she's... I'm Only afraid they're... sharks are far more deadlier than what she is. Well, she's a land idiot, then. That way, how? Does she, if she, like, lays down in your face, will you suffocate and die? Probably. 
That's the uh, wrong kind of suffocation. If I'm, say, I say, if I'm gonna <laughs> die by su by pussy suffocation, it ain't gonna be that type. Imagine that that was like a new Cannibal Corpse song. Suffocation pussy by pussy. Suffocation. <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo. What'd they die of? <laughs> Crushed pelvises. Grounded by pelvis. Oh shit. Um, let's see. Okay, Anyone? watching the good shows recently. Any good shows? I guess we already covered some anime, I guess, or kind of, but I didn't. I took that time because like there was no good shows. <laughs> I uh, I forgot that like with Amazon Prime, I had access to Prime Video, so I watched the, I watched a good chunk of the boys. Which is really funny. It's well, really he loves watching boys, didn't you know? <laughs> it boy things. Like, mm. calling an individual person a cunt. Hey, hey, I prefer <laughs> the men. <laughs> no, no, that actually happened. Um, it, Actually, uh, there's... A, have you guys seen that meme where it shows a dude? It just shows a guy, and then the text is like, Whoa, 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 if it ain't the invisible cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it, that's oh, from the, well, if any, the invisible that's from the boys. <laughs> nice. like the boys basically revolves around. Basically, the premise is uh, it's like a it's a society with like superheroes and stuff, but the superheroes are more part of like a. They have to deal with like a bunch of PR bullshit. And this is basically a company that uses superheroes. Like so it's literally company. live action My Hero Academia. No. They don't go to school to learn how to use their powers and shit. It's not like that. It's uh, no. Think of like a corporate, co like like a corporate uh company using superheroes as a, like they're super. The superheroes are a product basically, and that sounds and, like an and, extraordinarily and, and, oppressive company to work for. It, they tend like, to aren't aren't they, like, well, they, they are. are, they, are. They, are. Just, they are. Aren't they just smart enough to I don't know freelance? Well, have you seen some superheroes? More, it's a lot more complicated than that. Like, <laughs> the, some of the superheroes in that show do, actually do some disgusting, some pretty heinous shit. And basically, the main protagonist of the show, like, it shows things happening from some of the superheroes at a few points, but the people we're technically supposed to be rooting for are uh, a group of just, typically, a group of just normal people trying to fight against those superheroes because they did some wrong things. For example, one of the main protagonists, uh, Huey, his uh, his girlfriend was stepping off, stepping like maybe like right off the curb of a sidewalk onto the road. One of the superheroes whose power is basically super speed, he fucking runs right through her and basically fucking pulverizes her and kills her. <laughs> That's funny. And I'll save you, ma'am. And all the all the superhero did was he just said. He just says, I can't stop, I can't stop, and he kept and just run fucking runs off. So it was a hit and run. And the company <laughs> It basically is. Your <laughs> free trial <laughs> really is. And your free trial in life after suspended. Only died of drugs. <laughs> and, and after the guy got done for a uh, funeral and stuff, the company behind the superheroes makes him off offers him like forty five thousand dollars to to keep quiet about it. Jesus. In order to like, keep the PR of the company fucking good or some shit, it's. I mean, it's dark. Like, it almost. I, reminds I, me I of do wonder. I, I do wonder if the show is more of a dark comedy though, because there's some parts of that show that legit made me laugh. But like, I really do feel it's like a dark comedy. It probably is from the sound of it. It makes it sound almost like the Twilight Zone in a way. I really. Welcome I mean, to I, the I, I would. Twilight I would Zone. <laughs> Like every, I do recommend watching the show though. Like it's it's only has only has two seasons, but each season has eight episodes, but they're each an hour long. Jesus. So if they were like regular length episodes, they'd be like 24, 25 episode series. I mean seasons, basically. If they were at standard length, but. Jeez. Yeah, the show's really good though. There was something else I started watching. Um, 
They're uh, they're getting closer to finding the treasure pit on Oak Island. That's oh yeah, it it's taking them fucking long enough. I know they've only what? been on the island for like 15 years. Wait, what are you talking about? The Curse of Oak Island. It is a fucking history to, channel. Thing. To 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 uh, to quote the show, there is an island in the North Atlantic where an incredible treasure has been searched for for more than 223 years. They found a 90 they found a stone slab at 90 feet deep with strange symbols. They've found a lead cross with ties to the 1500s in northern France, potentially tying to the Knights Templar. This real was the first show. Nice. Well, no, they, 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 the real, real artifacts they said the real artifacts that they've found while searching for the the legendary treasure. And uh, they're, they've actually recently found uh, a lot of evidence to a sailing ship inside a man-made swamp, as well as a massive stone road that's like 40 feet, uh, it's like 40 or 50 feet wide and like 120 feet long so far. Jesus. Yeah, it's a very massive operation. They've found... Uh, Oh god, they found so many iron they found a bunch of ox shoes, oxen shoes, um, some of which have dated back to the 1400s. They've found trees that have been buried a hundred feet that have dated back to like 1650 through dendrochronol uh dendrochronology or dendrochronography, uh, which is uh, basically a, a DC 14 uh, uh carbon 14 dating so like it, it's been like crazy what they've found and the bad thing is they're still no closer to actually finding the, the treasure shaft wink wink I mean I'm pretty sure like the true treasure is going to be all the friends they made along the way shut up <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a decent chance it's probably going to be that just like yeah there's some uh oh, they, lead they found pieces quite, they found quite they found a brooch they they found a uh, a silver and ruby brooch that was uh that's estimated to be back to the 1500s Dude. Well, they still haven't found the fucking government basically that. to come and say hey uh, uh technically this is the, now our the land. Nova uh, the, well actually the thing is though they own oak island the the, the oh, Lagina like, brothers and their partners they, they actually own Oak Island, but like they do have. In a way? No, they're or... just they're they're land they own that island, uh, the uh, like it's still under the jurisdiction of the Nova Scotian government. Yeah. Like in fact, they actually have to have like they they can't do anything on the island until they get approval from uh, Nova Scotia because of the historical sig uh, significance. In fact, uh, one thing that they've been doing is they've been digging on the property of uh, uh, Samuel Ball, who was a American slave who fought for the British during the American Revolution and found his way up to Oak Island, bought a sliver of the island, and then became a very wealthy landowner and it was at one point the, one of the wealthiest men in Nova Scotia. Please. And which a lot of people have theorized that he may have found at least part of the treasure. Yeah. Well, the original discovery of the money pit was back in, uh, I think it was 1790. Something like that. But there, yeah. there's been quite a bit of connection to uh... oh crap now I can't remember now I can't remember what their name is they have a lot of triangles in their iconography the Illuminati? no not the Illuminati um... Masons the Masons yeah yeah the Freemasons Masons. what do the numbers mean? So, this is like a real treasure hunt, right? Yes. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. They're, they're really next, looking for treasure. 
This is a treasure hunt that has been going on for more than 220 some odd years now. Pretty much is, nobody... is kind of the... Uh... They, they have Swiss cheesed part of this island. Yeah. With the number of yeah. times that there have been drilling operations. And uh... the, the, the current people, in fact, six people have died. And the, the storied curse is that a seventh has to die before the treasure can be found. But there have been there were elaborate traps that were found, uh, particularly water traps like uh, the uh... the money pit yeah. had a trap where pretty much yeah after yeah when they breaking when a they took the, seal... yeah when they took the the ninety foot stone out it triggered a, a pressure plate trap essentially that flooded the the original money pit that flooded the original shaft. And then the Truro company tried to dig parallel and go up underneath the money, the original vault, or what they believed to be the original vault. But that collapsed and flooded, killing four people who then drowned. Who, who drowned. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's going like to be the irony that the loot's going to be made out of paper and it's flooded. Well, here's the thing. They, yeah. they, found, they found scraps of paper from like 120 feet underground. They don't know who and they don't know why they've got a smattering of dates of when. But what they do know is for some reason at some point a lot of people decided to do something of great significance on that island. Yeah. One of, one of the biggest theories is that the Knights Templar in the 1500s sailed and ended up at that island and buried treasure of significant religious importance, such as the Holy Grail or possibly even the Ark of the Covenant, which, if that ends up being the case, what does that do to, to, to uh, you know, to religion? You know, they, yeah, they find out that the damn thing actually existed. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, what, does, what if they find out that the Ark magical of the Covenant too? does exist? Like if, what if it existed and has magical powers? It has to have magical it, powers. I don't dude, doubt if it. anything in the world had magical powers, religion would be done for. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty sure the, uh, human, humanity collectively would ship breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god, what if the magical power is power. the ability to give humanity to be able to shit bricks? Don't give any weird magical ideas. Power. What if the magical power magical is power. friendship you found along the way? <laughs> then everybody would be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> no one would have a friend. What if like, your, the magic power just ends up being given to you the ability to like talk the fucking ants or something? Hey, that'd be pretty hey, cool. Ants have a pretty damn good society. Yeah. They live in a society. They live in a society. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, every single ant knows exactly what its role is from the point that it's birthed. Like, the point that it hatches, it knows exactly what its role is. Yeah, it exactly how miserable it's going to be. Oversaw, like, a, imagine exactly. you to oversee a large army of ants, and you, they all were born at the same time, and you over, you pretty much uh, take over the... Uh, how the fuck do I say it? Um... You brainwash them into thinking that their sole role is to help you rob banks. Probably have a better what are we, now? What, 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 what are we, Scott Lang? You, you trying to be Ant Man? Try to control the ants? I'm pretty sure that's not how Ant Man doesn't even control the ants. He just goes <laughs> yeah, really fast. Yeah, yeah, he did. No, yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, he does. Hank Pym, in the MCU, Hank Pym developed a, a basically a neural link that allowed him to communicate with the ants. Oh, interesting. In fact, that was the big draw of the original Ant-Man movie. Scott Lang was trying to turn over a new leaf. He was done sneaking into places and stealing shit. And Hank Pimp said, and, and Hank Pym said, we need you to break in and steal some shit. We need you to break in and steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Wait, wrong. Oh, God. God. <laughs> like, but, like I... that's literally, the that was the plot line of the first Ant-Man movie. 
Imagine if a bunch he of... needs to break in and steal some shit with the help of ants. What, would, what do you think would happen if Ant-Man tried to steal the Declaration of Independence with just ants? Probably do That'd be an interesting movie. movie. Uh, to hey, be fair, the, the Nicholas only reason... K shows, Nicholas Cage shows up and just looks on the sidelines like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? They what would the probably hell? call an exterminator. Just pull out a big like fucking... A... What if they just put out a big flamethrower and just burn the entire building down along with the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> Uh, well, first off, uh, it has to be one very hot flamethrower because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but the uh, the chamber that holds the Declaration of Independence it's is actually resistant. Well, no, but it, but it is resistant <laughs> up to like three and a half thousand degrees Fahrenheit. It's a hermetically sealed chamber. Yeah, isn't it's, it? It's like, like two and a half inches of bulletproof glass. I don't know why. I thought it was leaded glass, and I'm realizing this. That would make no sense. Why would you use just glass in that? But yeah, like that's the thing. It's like the damn thing. It's like I say, it is actually the single most protected piece of parchment in the United States, which is really unfortunate because we need to retire the damn thing and draft a new one. Is yeah. it really? But like that's all I'm gonna say. It is I said, that's all I'm going to say because uh, we're, we're not here to be a political podcast. So well, on, no, to ne- on to the, ex- the, the thing next topic. Sex everybody. <laughs> Do we have any other topics, Travis? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, were, we were technically on the topic of watching any good shows recently, but we ended up going into a history, history lesson. <laughs> that's and fine. History's fair, fun. The history lesson was about a show that is actually rewriting North American history. So That's fair. Wait, it was a. That's not. That's a, is that a, what? Okay. Um, Oak Island. They're finding out people were in North America a hel- from Europe a hell of a lot earlier than what was previously thought. And that was the name of a show. Yeah, yeah. it's called the Curse, Curse of, of Oak. Oak the, yeah, the Curse of Oak Island. Okay, yeah. that's where you lost me. I didn't realize you were talking about like. I thought it was just some kind of like. Uh, uh, like you're talking like a documentary history. or something. I don't know, like History Channel shit. It's like I don't know if it's on History Channel or not. I yeah, it is. It is on it History is. Channel. It's one of their yeah, flagship yeah, History Channel shit. Loses me every time, dude. Like I just can't. Get it into always it. ends with aliens. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, I'm not hey, saying man. it was aliens, but <laughs> aliens, aliens. I have been meaning to actually watch that video on YouTube, uh, the history of the Earth according to ancient aliens. <laughs> Or just just watch the show Ancient Aliens if you can. Well, I, I you know I'm sorry, but I just I got this thing with the whole you know the guy who like is you know aliens. His degree is business administration. It has nothing to do with history at all. It has nothing to do Ooh. with aliens. No, How do it we doesn't... sell more history. I know, aliens. <laughs> business. Yeah, degrees. like. <laughs> Yeah, his Some his act, he has a bachelor of arts in he has a bach he has a uh, MBA, uh, it's a it's a bachelor of arts in business administration, and he wrote one book that had to deal with aliens, and then he was hired by history to to be part of that show, and the, the rest mean. is is a meme. Yeah. So, do you think? Do you think next they'll uh, make a show? Like about the history of how the Earth was flat, then it became round. <laughs> um, do you think they'll ever make a show of how people might have once been smart and then got stupid? Yeah, they watch the History Channel. <laughs> the evolution and the evolution of mankind. Uh, oh, He's, speaking I of uh, evolution and de-evolution, years, of mankind. actually devolved back into monkeys. Uh, speaking of monkeys. Um, okay. sci- scientists have actually recently, and I, I believe I talked with uh, with you about this last night for a little bit, uh, Mr. King Turtles, is uh, they successfully uh, created an embryo that is a genetic combination of humans and uh, primate. Wow. Did. They, they didn't specify what species it was, but it was a it was human and monkey uh, 
genome that was successfully uh, fertilized into an embryo. That's either going to be really interesting or really disturbing. They kill, they yeah, ter they terminated after twenty two days. Ah, uh, because so basically because they, at the point they, in time where it would have failed regardless. Well, that's the thing. They don't know how long it would last. All they know is they successfully did it. Like that that was the issue. It's like they don't want to deal with all the you know, all the, the ethics complaints about the whole, you know, don't experiment on humans. Well, this thing's a hybrid chimera. Does it actually qualify as being human? Would it fall under animal rights or human rights? Yeah. It, it, exactly. And and that's the other thing is like, well, you know, they're only doing it to try to, I don't know, make human life even healthier. I mean, for crying out loud, you already got people that have, that get like kidneys and stuff from pigs. That's How dare you too, make my life better than my ass? What? How dare you try to make my life better for me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all I'm saying. Like, you know, they, they don't want to deal with all the complaints from essentially all the previous people. And yeah. let's face it, that's where most of the complaints come from. I mean, yeah. Imagine t two thousand years later, we're still being fucked over and we're progressing down to caveman logic. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Become but, yeah, it's like. But yeah, it's like they successfully created an embryo that sustained itself at least up to 22 days because that's when they go in and they forcibly terminate it why because they don't want to deal with the the suck the it up scientists thing. i'm willing to bet the they died after the 28 days and they just wanted to cover it up as if they're ethical because <laughs> that's around the time when most embryos if they're going to have a major defect die yeah yeah well like i said all the all i know is they did they they successfully you know created an embryo that combined human and monkey dna and it sustained itself for an, a, an amount of time yeah honestly i'm sort of happy they didn't post a lot about this because you know people would be like cat girls like jesus fuck Oh my God, cat girls! That's, no, that, <laughs> Elon, Elon Musk. Before we go into cat Elon girls, Elon Musk needs question. to get on that. I have a question before we go into cat girls. <laughs> okay. So, this is addressed to the furries in this chat. In this there podcast. are any. <laughs> yeah. no furries. The furries? <laughs> what? I've never heard of one. Uh, we <laughs> have what, one. What could you okay, for real though. So, um, anyway, furries. Um, if say they successfully did make like actual real anthropomorphic animal human things would you be into it they have yeah. to well yeah <laughs> i got, I got rules i want it to be able to speak give consent and have the iq of at least a 20 year old so Fair uh basically so more 80 80 20 human to animal attribute yeah yeah like i just want like cat a, ears and a fucking yeah. tail maybe like that's yeah it. yeah yeah it, it's it's far more like i said it's vastly more human than than animal well okay yeah, yeah like i'm like a cat girl would be yeah obviously be more, that's like more human than like you know i mean like the reason i ask this is because uh I, I guess it, it kind of stems from something else I wanted about too, because, for example, like in anime, for example, there's different like tropes in, of personalities. Like for example, the tsundere, right? I I think about it like, okay, a tsundere girl in an anime might be cute in its context, but if I met an actual tsundere in person in real life, they would annoy you the fuck go, out of me and I would hate them. You would like, just go, man, that person's a cunt. Were, yeah, were you pretty never, much. Were pretty you much, never yeah. teased? Were yeah. you never teased in elementary school by a girl? Yeah, they were cunts. Because that—that's pretty much what a, what a tsundere is. is they just they they tease the object of their affection. And well, and, and, and don't to tease me, you cunt. <laughs> to be fair, the tsundere, the tsundere men, I think of anime are the kind of like cunt of a very little thing, and we're not talking just teasing here. Yeah, but to be fair, men can also be tsundere. Yeah. Yes, but you're missing the point. No, I'm not. 
I'm talking about. Okay. Fine. 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 Say you were into Cinderay, men or women, or whatever the fuck you're into. Flying me. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the expectations versus reality from fiction to real life. It's what I'm, that's what I'm going at here. And what your actual experience could may or may not be. I don't know. If you're into it, that's fine. But I'm speaking specifically in my own case. Specifically for me. A Cinderay girl in anime is can be cute, but a Cinderay girl in real life might annoy the fuck out of me. I mean, isn't oh, that just the clingy type in real life? Yeah, huh? well, I said the, the idea between of the of the the dare personalities, Sundere, they typically are, they act in a cold, teasing manner to the object of their affection. Right, and that would annoy me. Dare is is translated roughly as like as lovey dovey. They they tease them because they like them. So they're just socially awkward and don't know how to talk to people. Talk to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not attractive. <laughs> that, that, that that was my point. Like a Sundere IRL, even if it's with good intentions, that's not the personality type that I'd be into. That's I'm only using it as an example. No, that's fine. Right? I understand what you're getting at. So when you translate a logic similar, not exactly the same, but similar to that, you know, thingy with, say, like, furry art, you know? Like, if you're into, like, drawing, like, you draw a picture of, like, a furry, like, a full-blown furry. Like, we're talking full fur, anthropomorphic animal thing that some people might be into. If you, If something like that actually existed in real life, would someone be attracted to that as much as they would have if it was like a drawing of it? Well, here's the difference between real life and uh, anime is anime doesn't show off the bad parts of these aspects. If True. they put on like a nine hour episode of a freaking tsundere leaving 37 voicemails in your phone, you might think, well, geez, now nah, I'm not so attracted anymore. <laughs> that that actually True. leans that leans far more into the yandere. Yeah, that'd be much more yandere. Sundere does it in a in a loving manner. Yandere does it because like they legit threaten other people if they try to get between them and the person that they like. Right. And the Yandere is even less attractive in real life. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. Easily. You can't see yeah. them in fucking anime. But like with furries, like you gotta wonder what is gonna be the actual downside of a furry. Right. Like, is there one? I, I, I could tell you I'm not a furry. <laughs> well, you almost got to wonder, I mean, what type of attributes would they actually be, would they actually, you know, put in? Like, if, if for example, with cat girls in particular, would they also have the uh, extraordinarily well good hearing that most cats have? Because if that's the case, then... Well... I mean, I figure they would, just because we're talking about more their features and sort of why cat ears are a evolutionary thing is for that better hearing. If oh, a cat girl fell off a two-story yeah. building, would they land on the feet perfectly? <laughs> that would be a thing of how flexible are they, but I think it'd be no, because part of why cats are able to land hey. is because of their flexibility. If I'm getting a cat girl, she better be flexible. I mean, we're not talking about like that. We're not talking about. We're talking about almost inhumanly flexible. What do you Just mean by that? No cats are... Okay, so what? What? Okay, so if you get a cat girl, then uh, I, I have a feeling they're gonna have to rewrite a lot of the rules for gymnastics. I mean, if they're the same because flexibility cat as a girl... cat, yes. But they're well. But if they're more gymnasts are pretty human man. bodies. Yeah, but that, you have to look at most modern gymnasts. They're pretty damn flexible to begin with. Yeah, but I mean, like if, if we're you, talking if about... The, the talking about that generic anime like... cat girl, we're talking about they have cat ears and a cat tail. That's pretty much it. Most of their other adaptations that a cat would have, they wouldn't have because they're more of a human body. They wouldn't have right. the exact same extreme flexibility as a cat. So it looks like we're looking at two different images of a cat girl. There's the anime cat girl and there's the furry cat girl. 
I guess fair enough. Cat Cat I'm a furry that I don't because because fucking know. Because I don't know fucking what furries look like. Furry. Cat girls, I mean, if you think about cat girls from anime, that's not even furry. That's just humans with animal traits. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess. Right. The part about that that confuses me is they have cat ears and human ears, so do they hear double? I think the I cat mean, ears are just aesthetic. <laughs> it also could be that some of them flat out don't have human ears. Say, yeah, so a lot of them, do, like, if you look in particular, like Nekopara, for uh, instance, they never actually show human ears. You actually, like, but imagine yeah, that was all like hair covering it. You moved her hair yeah. out of the way, and all of a sudden there was just a smooth skin there. Or a hole, like an owl. I mean, it'd be weird, but. Or a second pair of ears is even weirder. Like, yeah, I, I got that when I was weird. watching <laughs> fucking Ruby and would Faunus in there have two pairs of ears, and I'm like, this does oh, not look right. great. That would throw me off. Yeah. yeah. Just don't shave really your cat far. girls, okay? Just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if I'm allergic? <laughs> what if a cat girl wanted to... What if the cat girl well, just wanted to put her my... hair in a ponytail? Well, is it, what, what if I want my... Girl. Yeah, but I mean, I want my pixie cut tomboy. What, what if I want my pixie cut tomboy cat girl? What then? Too bad. <laughs> Damn it! Cat boy instead. I'll never forgive the Japanese. I guess you're gonna have to perform surgery and take your human ears off, huh? Fuck it! I can Mike Tyson this shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, would you rather me Vincent Van Gogh and and mail it to somebody? <laughs> I mean, it's supposedly because he did it out of love. He exactly. did do it out of love. I mean, that, that's Andrew one hell of a, that's one hell of a gift. He would sacrifice his hearing in one ear for for his. I mean, he didn't remove the whole ear. He moved a, like a piece of it. It's the original Yandere. Yeah, <laughs> I removed the piece of myself for you. There's plenty more where that come from. Please, uh, just keep making paintings. It's the only thing you're good at. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, bad thing is, his paintings didn't even fucking sell until he died. Yeah. I mean, that's most artists. Like, most famous artists, they're, they didn't become famous until they're legitimately six feet under. That's when they became famous. Yeah, just look at Andy Warhol. <laughs> no one ever paints like him. That's because he's fucking dead. <laughs> Everyone who paints like him died. <laughs> it's the curse of the it's the curse of the art style. <laughs> yeah. Imagine imagine if you try to paint like Bob Ross, and every time you try to paint trees and say happy little trees, you just die on the spot. Die on the spot. <laughs> on the spot. The happy curse little of Bob bit. Ross. <laughs> will come up and eat your soul. Like the actual ghost of Bob Ross would show up and he just makes you smile and then you die happy. Uh, you know, honestly, uh, I consider that an absolute win. You die happy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I mean, I guess that would be a curse I wouldn't mind dying to. Every time you die, there's just like a perfect painting left behind you. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny. Imagine if. Imagine if someone who wanted to come under the death of the curse would is kind of a big troll. So like they 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 go to like they draw like a big dick and then draw like happy trees next to them and say happy trees. No, it's a happy bush. <laughs> okay, fine. He he paints a big dick and balls with happy little bushes on the testes and 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 above the dick. Let's not forget that. Okay, what's okay? Fine. He uses happy bushes as penis. The point is. He draws a funny looking big penis. Bob Ross comes up to take him away. Then he turns around and sees it's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> How would Bob Ross react to that? <laughs> he he smiles and there's like, there are no accidents. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there are no, say, there are no, no mistakes, only happy little accidents. And it was like, yeah, it's it would turn out to be that's a really happy, happy tree. Oh uh, my God. Jesus! <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to fuck you humans. From the rabbit hole. This is why I stopped claiming to be a human. 
Uh, <laughs> what are you? Some kind this of is why boy? aliens never visit us. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. This is why the aliens. That's why they never come to visit. <laughs> they they listen to what they like listen to this podcast to get an idea of how human culture works, and they're like, okay, you know what? This is no, no, fuck this. <laughs> you know what? Fuck beyond belief. I don't think they're worth invading. You know, I don't think yeah. they're even worth our time. We're, we're actively creating a defense network with this shit. Those primitive <laughs> fools can be on their own, you know. Bye. <laughs> GG. No. I mean, honestly, if they really wanted us to be gone, they'd just let our own culture destroy ourselves. <laughs> I mean, much. that would be the wisest decision. That way, no one would ever be sus of them. Yeah, legitimately. Fitting grounds just... to prove it. There'd be no reason for them to do. They just have to set off certain things, the motion, and just have us destroy ourselves. Imagine mm. that. Imagine Shit, if man, they we've been trying had the power that. to. Imagine we, they we've could... been trying to destroy ourselves for thousands of years. Yeah, I mean that's human culture. Is yeah, somehow we failed. Because yeah. <laughs> humans are just fucking animals that just happen to have higher intelligence. That's basically it. Yep, we should probably stop fucking animals with higher intelligence. <laughs> Too late. Okay. Wait, did you say start or stop? <laughs> stop. <laughs> we should I stop, mean, trucks. Well, it's time you, to we stop. Should, we should look out of space and start it's fucking time. aliens. Maybe we, it's aliens a, uh, uh, let, let's face it. I mean, Star Trek was on to something, you know. Ca you Captain know, Kirk was on to something. We start finding aliens, somebody's going to try to fuck it. It's just the if way it, it is. If it has a hole, a human will stick it in. A exactly, exactly. They make that joke You're... on Star Trek that there's like doctor, there's like scientists who are experts in interspecies mating. <laughs> uh, well, who, who's they trying to be? Interspecies alien edition. <laughs> Somehow I see Kirk at the forefront of that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they trying to be, Doctor Morden Solis? Uh, <sighs> okay. Fucking hell! Well, avoid <laughs> ingestion. Immediately eat. I I've uploaded a number of volumes of positions that may be more comfortable for both part for both members. Wait, what? I was making a Mass Effect joke. <laughs> Honestly, I played so little of Mass Effect. Most jokes would probably go over my head. Outside of ones that you might have heard in like a gamer to gamer poop video or something. Hmm. What do we got next? Since we the conversation. How close are we to? Uh, <laughs> I'm not the max, the max, the, the uh, first stopping minutes. point is like eight minutes from now. We should have enough time for this last one, actually. So, excellent. Basically, it is uh, what's your favorite gaming platform, excluding PC, to start with? It's a part, two part of question. What? Well, <laughs> fucking bias. Yeah. PC is the best. I'm fucking. I yeah. mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I agree. That's why this is a two parter. We're starting without the PC. I liked the PS4 when I had it. Yeah, same. PS4 was so far what I liked. Because the thing yeah, is, Xbox is basically all the games that you can get on PC. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, Microsoft and everything. Yeah, I really, I, I also really do have, like, no, re I really don't have any more reason to play Xbox anymore. <laughs> I, I think, think that... Microsoft kind of killed it with PC. Yeah. I mean, their new Xbox is essentially just a glorified PC with a custom OS. Yeah, flat windows on that thing you got a pretty deep you got a okay gaming pc like uh xbox does work better if you're like i mean as opposed to pc if you're the kind that doesn't want to mess up all the pc stuff and you just you just want to buy something and fucking plug and play you know oh uh, so you're yeah. lazy yeah basically <laughs> bitch i don't even i, mean, I, I don't even have to buy that. something i got a fucking stick <laughs> <laughs> the original toy jerry jerry the original gaming stick. platform jerry i take your stick, stick and i snap it in half now, now i have two sticks <laughs> now he's got two sticks <laughs> <laughs> you failed now, i hear go now, now job. he's dual wielding two toys more, you just made it more powerful activate skill dual wield 
He unlocked a new skill, cool and stiff. It has only made him stronger. What are you gonna See, do now, bitch? Say, <laughs> I would say because like I, I've played Xbox forever, but I like their games, not the console as much. Right. And I would say honestly, the Switch is probably the best console, strictly because it's versatile enough to be carried around and played for I, long periods I, of time. I'll be honest, I am actually more partial to the Switch than, say, like a PS4 or any of the consoles I grew up with, really. Yeah. yeah. Most of yeah. you affordability. Even though I pretty much don't it, have they buy any it for the new consoles party game. Like, or anything right. like Switch it is the is only probably... console I own. Yeah, yeah, Switch is go. probably one of the single best consoles just because, like, yeah. PCs, you, you're carrying around a giant block. It's very difficult. Same. And I don't like, know about that. I remember when I used to carry around that laptop. Get, it wasn't that heavy. Laptop, but it doesn't I mean, beat compared the to a Switch, though. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, with a, a gaming PC, like a gaming laptop, I mean, you have a lot more power on the go and stuff. But when you have a, with the Switch, though, it's a lot smaller. You can, like, just put it in a small bag or something. And, I, I mean, I would play it on my fucking work, lunch breaks at work when I work at the office. When I worked at the office. And, uh... Right. And honestly, I think if I had to pick, I mean, overall, if I had to pick one companion and console to play as a gaming platform besides having my PC, I would pick the Switch, hands down. Well, and I mean, it PS4 is great in some way, too, because it has like some sort of stuff, man, but. Yeah, it doesn't help for a lot of us, too. Like, Nintendo is probably where a lot of us started, like Super Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. So, the a NES lot of that and I had more than growing up. Right, well, that's why I said a lot of us, not all of us. <laughs> the, ori the original Duck Hunt. Good times, yeah. good times. Yeah, yeah and I think the first video game was Super Mario Super and Mario, Mario Kart. I mean, my first video game technically was Super Mario Brothers on the NES, but we technically didn't own it. It was my grandmother's or my aunt's or something. The first right. console I remember playing at my own house was the Super Nintendo. Where I would play like Donkey Kong Country and yeah. uh, Pitfall: The Mine Adventure, which was eh, it was alright. But Donkey Kong Country Two is my was my shit. Yeah, my and aside from PC, that's really probably the only console that's been in my life ever since I was born. Yeah, was I mean, Nintendo. I up, like I grew up with most consoles. Like, let's see, starting with the 3D era, I grew up with like the 64, PS1. Then the following generation, we mostly had the GameCube and the original Xbox. But funny enough, we never had Halo. And it's like the Xbox is more of a platform my brother played, and that was more on the GameCube and things. Where I play like when I play like Wind Waker, and uh, I would play like Tony Hawk's Underground and shit. Melee. Yeah, I picked up Xbox. Melee too. Melee also. <laughs> then with the Xbox 360 generation and stuff, we 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 got the we ended up getting the Wii. And I didn't get my 360 until we graduated high school. Or uh, in that year, I mean. Yeah. And that was mostly be well, my main reasoning of getting a 360 was so I could play the games that we played at Game Demolisher's house when we used to hang out there at the, all the time. Right. And I, I have the noticed I've been play. playing on the Xbox One a lot recently, strictly because I'm up super late helping with the baby. So I've had time to play more. Yeah, and I guess in your PC, technically, isn't even hooked up still, right? Yeah, PC's not hooked up, and I can't have the laptop on my lap when she's with me, because I just don't have enough room. Right, I, understand. I mean, that's completely understandable. But that also like, lets me play the Switch, too, on the TV, so, again, another good reason and, for Switch. And even, if, and even if the, and what's great about the Switch is that if the TV is being hogged by someone else, like, for example, maybe your wife is watching something on your Xbox, you can you can take the Switch off the dock, and you can just play it on the couch. Oh, I just turn off the internet, it drives me nuts. <laughs> 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 oh there you go there's that <laughs> so uh who here owns like google stadia no. <laughs> you mean the failure for platform Dude, they sent me one because for free a game i want to try it surface is always a good idea right what games are I even mean, on it at this point none. Mortal Kombat 11 was on there i think <laughs> destiny 2 was Just on there <laughs> they have cyberpunk on there Oh yay, Cyberpunk! Woohoo! I mean, Google Stadia. I, if I remember properly, you pretty much need a perfect internet connection to play it, and even then, it's not good. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's a mistake to have to stream games. That's the that's the biggest mistake there. I mean, I, I mean, see some of the benefit, but it should be. But there's a way to do streaming that's good, and I don't think Google did with Stadia. Yeah. 
JDM. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes it. Basically, you have to live in a Google headquarters. Right. Pretty much. But they gave me a free uh, uh, Chromecast HD, so that's cool. Okay. Yeah, they're sure. like, hey, uh, do you want to try out our new product at Google Stadium? I'm like, sure. How much? Oh, it's free if you try it. <laughs> I mean, that would pretty much be the only reason why I would get it is, hey, do you want this? Sure. <laughs> that might be, Does that I mean, mean if you don't try it, you have to pay for it? <laughs> only, I don't know. Honestly, the only benefit I could see of getting a Stadia is to uh, either prove it's prove it's kind of poopy or just make like a video review for like YouTube and stuff. That's the only benefit I can see coming from it. Like, but yeah. it wouldn't even be worth the money of getting it. Like you're better off just getting it donated or something. But anyway. Yeah. Or I, should, I mean, I there's probably... better streaming platforms. You can get like uh steam link. The, yeah. Or the G force experience thing that they launched. Like those are all both decent. Oh, I gotcha. Especially when compared to uh, Stadia. Yeah. yeah. I should I should probably bring up that we did just hit the two hour mark. Okay. Yay! So we, so we are gonna put a hard stop on this episode. So. We did it. Well, it was, it was fun. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It, was it was. It was actually pretty great. Actually, it went very well. We did I think. the thing. We actually. We filled the time well. Yeah. We. Yeah. This actually <laughs> worked out. Insanity. Anyway, so for those that are watch watching it on YouTube, whenever I get that up, it might take a bit because I'm still trying to figure out the formatting of it. But uh, and for those that listen to it too, I don't. I'm probably gonna put it up on uh, most likely for now. I'm just gonna stick with SoundCloud and YouTube just for now. But who knows? Maybe I'll have to find a way to put it on Spotify or something. Any anywho, that will conclude our pilot episode of the thick table do you guys are you guys okay with the thick table with that do you think that's that a good works name for now yeah that works for me yeah. i was thinking I'm, I'm gonna call it the thick table fuck it i like it <laughs> right to the thick table yes so that's the end of the thick table why not table of thickness too many because the names isn't working <laughs> because we're not syllables <laughs> there's more syllables <laughs> i like the four syllable with the thick table <laughs> anyway, so yeah, everyone, thanks for listening, and everybody have a good day. And I don't know, play for yourself, I guess. Bye bye. Uh, Adios. Adios. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I was just.